Greetings there, everybody. Hardy J here once again, returning to an ending reaction to a game I've actually played in the last, in a week-ish or so, maybe two weeks. And that game is Harvestella. It is on the Switch, and it's also on Steam, and I think that's it. Um, I have the Switch version because, well, it was cheap, and I picked it up. And that's one reason why I picked it up. The other reason is that the initial reaction to this during uh, Nintendo Direct, I wasn't too thrilled as it was during the, the farming simulator Direct, basically, of Nintendo. And I was like, oh, it's just another farming simulator. So, eh. And so what it actually brought to me is it's by, it's by Square Enix, so it, has, it would have to have some polish to it. Some polish. And then, um, I wasn't expecting a lot. Like, a lot. Like, I thought it was just going to be a farming simulator with light story elements here and there to kind of put in the, the thing. I have to say, I, I was totally wrong. This game has a, I'm going to stare say it, bitchin' ass Great story. Amazing. Actually, not even a great story. It is a amazing story. Like, it is has a great narrative to it. Which is totally opposite of what I thought. So that's why it took me totally by surprise. I'm like... I'm like... I, it almost was like back in the late 90s where I discovered PS1 RPGs from Square and they just put out like everything and anything and a lot of them were bangers and this one definitely a banger definitely oh my god it had oozes oozes charm oozes my god like it has so much charm and i i'm not gonna say the uh, work with me here it's not well written like it's 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 written fairly well but not like to some games out there but it's put together beautifully it's put together beautifully and that's the example there's, there's just some examples one is that go with character quests because you're gonna you got companions and the npc side quests basically side quests the uh, the thing I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna reference is weird, but go with it. It's like a complete reverse of near replicant. I'm sorry about hitting my mic. Uh, near replicant. Fr uh, from what I played, and I played like literally almost 100 percent of it, is about 75 to 80 percent of it is side quests that really don't matter or it's like oh you go get this for that person do that do this do that and they don't really grow anywhere where this one the side quests uh for just npcs help you grow those npcs as characters like you go into the village there's only like a there's only like a one two three Four, four, maybe five, six, six villages in this world total. Uh, four main ones. And during those four main ones, you get to know a good 70 to 80% of the village because you are doing quests for them and you are learning how they are. And some of these have names, some of them don't. So you get the feel what these characters are and they're just npcs like you literally see them in their, some of them are voiced some of them are not and you're like oh my goodness and going on to the character quest your companion quests oh some dare i say rival the persona like confidant social link stuff Every single character in this in this uh, side quest, like the uh, your companions, the character quests, had made me emotional because it was in depth, it was personal, 
and it went and it just dove into them as characters. That's a beautiful thing. Like, oh my god, I just like I got teared up by the end of a lot of those uh, character quests, and I have to say, I don't think I even did that with Persona Five. Like, there's there's some that really like got me. Like, but they, they didn't like not everyone made me that way. In this game, every single one made me at least emotional at some point. And the big thing is this is this is the thing is that one, I really didn't think it was actually going to be uh, it was going to be subpar because it didn't have voice acting. It has it has some voice acting. Uh, it has um, NPCs sometimes voice act when you pass them or certain parts of the game there might be like certain dialogue things to add a little bit but most of it you have to read like an old school NES or Super Nintendo game where you gotta read most of the dialogue that's in there and that's what it feels like it feels like a very enhanced version of like a Super Nintendo game or like a, like a, a, a PS2 game it kind of looks like almost like a PS2 game sort of a little bit and that's maybe why I like it because PS2 was like absolutely beautiful at its time so maybe that's why I like it so much. But nevertheless, the the, the the voice acting is very scarce. It's like obviously during battle and key parts in story sequences, but it's not everywhere or not everything is voiced or anything like that. It's just at key points in story and NPCs. So I find the voice acting in this beautiful because it's not everywhere. It's not oversaturated it's it's sporadic if, if that's a word if, that, if if that's if that makes any sense anyway i'm trying to put all my thoughts into this little opening thing where i'm not going to be talking all the time well anyway let's get to what this is one i have to say if you are kind of still have cold feet on this uh, on this story if you're watching this first of all one i would say Close the video. Pick this game up. It's on Steam. It's on Switch. Get one of them. Close the video. Play the game. And the thing is, if you want to play just the story and not deal with the farm sim, you're going to have to deal with some of the farm sims. So do do a little bit of that. But the thing is, you just can do story-based, a lot of it, pretty much on your own. It's, it's, it's not mandatory that you do a lot of the farming sim. You just can do what you need to get by and just deal with the story. And that's beautiful. But the thing is, if you also want it as a farming sim, it's a decent farming sim. It's not like the greatest out there, but it is a decent farming sim also. And then you can just do farming sim. You won't beat the game. But the thing is, it's a decent farming sim also. So the thing is, one, if you're, if you want, if, if you're cold feet about, if you're cold feet, <laughs> if you have cold feet about playing this game, one, I have to say, if you're listening to this, turn the video off, play the game. That is my hands. It is a definite recommended for sure to play this game. Like it is, it is one of the surprise hits of the last couple of years. Like I did not expect a very story driven, charming game out of farming sim, but here it is. My God, I'm like, it's, it, it, it completely surprised me. Nevertheless, going on is that, one, we're going to obviously do the ending reaction. This is to the true ending, because there's three endings, three endings to it. Two are quoted as bad endings, and I've did those already, and I'll probably upload them together before this sometime. Uh, and I can sum summarize as basically you get two choices to do two things. And you choose one, you choose it, you get the credits, and then you get a little thing afterwards. And that's one bad ending. And the other bad ending is you choose the other one, you get credits, and then you get a little thing at the end. And that's pretty much it. So I did have to read up on what to do to get the true the true ending. And it's not that difficult. 
And I wanted to kind of start there where my ending reactions kind of go because there's a little bit more to go in to the, the thing. And that's kind of what I want to do. And I'm pretty sure, <laughs> seeing how the game is, I'm probably going to get emotional. So if I do, I do apologize. But not at the same Because this game is good. It's really good. Anyway, let's get into it. So I named my name, I named my character Tara from uh, Final Fantasy VI. She has green hair, and I don't know what kind of eyes uh, Tara has. Uh, so I did whatever color it is, but I named her Tara to go off of the Final Fantasy VI thing. So, uh, so farm. I'm not going to deal with too much of this farm-related stuff because I'm. I just want to get on with the story. But major thing is that I went through everyone's story. This is my companion stories i went through all of them i've completed everyone uh everyone's a companion except for cress cress is not a companion and unicorn's not a companion but everyone else is a companion and you will eventually run into them in some way or the other throughout the story and i have to say all of them have a lots of charm to them like every single one like asshole is good hein I very much was very cautious about Hein at the beginning, but his story turned out to be very good, like at the end. Very good. Emo, cute as hell. Very, very sweet. Hmm. They're very good. Uh, uh, Ashtina's is very interesting in the way it goes. It is fantastic. Crest is very emotional. Very much, you'll, you'll feel you definitely feel a lot of stuff for this, and I have to say, you feel like a lot of them for this. Um, Shakira, Shakira, uh, a lot of the, the thing is, I don't know how to say these names because a lot of them you don't actually hear people saying their names because it's not voice acted completely. So, the thing is, a lot of the voice, a lot of the names you don't actually hear. So, again, how to, how to say the names, I'm not sure. So Shakira's story it was pretty good. I actually was really invested in the story all the way to the end because it had a lot of religious stuff to it, but it also had questions of, like, is this the right thing to do? And I really liked that. Bra uh, Braca's story was pretty good because it it's all about revenge. And if you get that revenge, what do you do afterwards? And that is, I absolutely love, because that is pretty much a great setup for a good story, is that when you got a guy f looking out for Renge, Renge, that's a good story in itself. But what happens after that person gets the revenge? This is what it is. Uh, Dianthus, and I think that's how you actually say it. I'm not too sure if that is. Very emotional at the end oh my goodness very good and the thing is that the dianthus is a robot or an ai robot type thing so it has a lot of robotic type things but it's all about you know making robots human type or has human emotions so it has that and you can sort of unicorn story is about identity very much about identity like who are you where are you where'd you come from type of thing it's a very very good very good. And even though it says I'm in chapter 8, chapter 9 is literally right after this. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Also, I want to make sure that I have the right party members. And for, that's the only thing I don't like is that you have to, you can set up yourself and your jobs and your party members only by save points. And I'm mm, a little bit on that, but anyway. Uh, so I have all the jobs. Every single, you got Fighter, Pilgrim, Shadow Walker, Skylancer, uh, Luminar, Lumancy, Lumancer, I guess, uh, Mechanic, uh, Wongite, uh, Avenger, uh, Assault, Seventh, uh, Mage, and Ashton. <laughs> Again, names, I'm not too sure. 
And we got Samurai. Samurai's hidden, and then Ashon, this one, is also hidden. Uh, you got to go through certain things to get them. All the rest of them are unlocked either through story, most likely story, and characters. So all your characters are pretty much one. Pilgrim is uh, Kira. Shadow Walker is Ashtina. Skylancer is Ashel. Uh, Lumancer is Dianthus. Uh, Mechanic is um, Hein. Uh, Walnite. Walnite? Wal. 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 Warg? Wal. It's a songress. It's basically a bard songress. Uh, is um, Emos. Uh, Avenger is Brockus. Uh, uh, Saltfans is um, Arias. Uh, Mage is your other kind of basic skill also. And these other two. So for me, I'm going to do... Avenger is bloody well awesome. And Samurai, I'm kind of getting up right now. And it's being pretty good. And I'm going to kind of go with those. As for my party... I think I'm going to bring Baraka because, uh, or. And I'm thinking Dynathus, maybe. But Emo's pretty good because she has a really good healing move, uh, if you get break. So I might get Emo also. And we're good. Okay, so I think we're pretty good to go. And then I gotta pet my mount. Good boy. Good boy. All right. See you later. And f creepy fairies. Creepy fairies. All right. Airship. You get the airship later on. It does save on lots of time. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to the or orbital cradle. And we are going... This is my samurai. Got herself... Emo and Baraka. We're going to the seat of the Harbinger. Like I said, the story really does take a turn after chapter three. It just goes bonkers after that. Like literally, it gets good. Really good. All right. Last one. Here we go. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Avenger. Avengers, ha Avengers, damn good. Uh, you said something unusual ahead. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Let us do it. You don't, <laughs> you don't change, Tara. You always fought your head. Uh, no matter what uh, way you're way, you're no, you're not a quitter. Oh, she's got the, she's got the, the, she's, she's, she's evil now. Aria's uh, originally one of our, one of our, one of our companions. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil the story too much. Because, uh, one, going to this point, beautiful. And well, if you just come to here, again, turn this video off, play the game. Because it's a great game. Don't take that long either. So I'm just going to go on. Uh, there's always been times when I found you dependable upon that. But not this time. Oh, you've you've definitely turned. No, I've I've seen this before. So, yeah, she looks grand, man. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I got I got to show this uh, this look here. Just, just look at her, man. She is like fantastic. Just great. I put myself there. Actually, I might uh, I might just let it play, and then during the, the fight scenes, I'm going to go here. I'm your enemies, Abels. I am the Harbinger. You're a friend, Arya. You heard guys, didn't you? You and I are different species. I want to say the art in this is amazing also. Music, art, mmm, delicious, delicious stuff. I am the bringer of destruction of your world. If that's not a harbinger, then what is? I know why you're here, Terra. You stop me from uh, dropping uh, the proto, don't you? 
Yeah, we can. We definitely can't even stop you. Of course, Kimmy is the only way you can do the survive. <laughs> Again, no, 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 uh, no voices here. No, Aria, we're not gonna. I don't want to fight you. Please stop. I miss the old Aria. Don't spout nonsense. Aria. The Par uh, the Paradise Project is humanity's dearest wish. You uh, you know how many sacrifices were made for it. My own parents died in its in its critical uh, in its critical experiment. Sorry, Aria. I saw proof in my own eyes. Their names on the registry of people who died in the service. Everyone who uh, wanted to be secured in the future for humanity so much that they were willing to die for it. Now that... Now do you, do you really think that I could betray them because of one of the new bonds that I've gone and made with you? But yeah? Yeah? If I abandon the plans now and all their efforts have been for nothing. Like I said... Not well written, but well put together. Very well put together. That is why I'm the Harbinger now. Destroy the wor one world for the other. I will drop the proto -sea light onto the planet and make the heaven shell a reality. Those are the lengths I prepare to go. So this is where we part ways. Get your weapons. The version of humanity that commands this battle lives on in the next era. It's the world has to come to. But I'm not fighting you. I don't want to fight you, Arya. We used to live together. You used to complain about the, the fairies as bugs. Come on. In that case, yes, start the countdown for the proto descent. Are you sure? Need some time for some final adjustments. It's fine, just do it. Underst understood. Yeah, the world they actually built in this is really good. Really good. Like, it, there's a lot of questions you ask, and not all of them are answered. And I really like that. Activating proto sea light descent sequence. Starting countdown. Are you trying to intimidate us with that? No, she means it. No, she means it. Now that she has the chance to uh, stop the descent. Do we have no choice? Aria. I, I really don't want to fight you, Aria. Quiet. I told you, told you not to come, didn't I? But if I didn't, the game would just be frozen. <laughs> like there wouldn't be any, anything, any consequences to that. I didn't want to fight you. I, I did. But there's no other way, can't you see? It's already too late. I have no other choice. All right. I'm going to switch on my camera. As, uh... Again, powerful stuff, and it doesn't need to even actually be... The uh, doesn't need to be voiced at all. And I absolutely love that. And the music, man, the music sometimes like it's a, it's like oh, it's like a mix between a lot of things. But to kill you, my mission as the Harbinger is to hear humanity's prayer and protect the world. There all is no right. Other option. I won't let you stop me if you refuse to understand. Like again, not too much voice acting, but a little bit of voice acting here. And the combat is it's it's decent enough. Why can't I hit There we go. Nope, out of there. I can't let it all be for nothing. 
Arya, please, stop fighting. All right, out of the way. Just weak against fire. Yep, just keep on going. I might switch over to the samurai just for a minute. Oh, I'm gonna actually switch against the samurai also. Against slash, okay. I didn't want to fight you either. Back up. I didn't. Well, you certainly are right now. You're not really taking too much damage off, I can say. Move. I need. I need. I need food. Give me food. Give me food. I need stamina. There we go. Back over to. Uh, let's go here. Double break. Go emo. Actually, I probably should have done the other one because emo heals us. But she also gives a lot of buffs, too. So, I'm good with that, too. Oof. Oof. Ouch. There is no other way. Come on. Move. It's not that bad, I have to say. Like, it's just... Oh shoot! Couldn't get, couldn't move out of it in time. There's looking cool. That's all. There we go. Heal. You're not weak against. Oh, you are weak against. Um... Ouch. Come on. The thing is, I've actually done. I've I've uh, done this. This is where, is after this, you get uh, the choice of. Okay, we got it. We got to do it. Don't think we're gonna do it. Just have to make sure that she. Nope, she's. Ow. Man, I felt that on my controller. Holy jeez. I'd rather not, actually. Tell if that was actually. Wow, I don't know how I missed that. You're done there, are you? Give up. Because I ain't going to give up.
I think during these moments, I'm going to actually turn my, my webcam off because I'm going to be in front of the actual thing. Ugh, come on, Arya, get up. I can't be beaten here. Please stop. I, I, I really don't want to fight you anymore, Arya. I won't lose this battle. I'll fight to the death when it takes. I won't be defeated. Oh, she's going crazy. She's going. She's doing a... Is that the light for the monolith? A monolite? What's happening? The monolith's out of control. I must protect them. Uh, must get to Arya. Yeah, I'm on there, Arya. I'm not Arya. I'm the Harbinger. My purpose is to protect Lost Gaia. I will fight for that as long as I am alive. Oh. Terra don't. As long as she is no longer the Arya we knew. She will kill you. I don't care. I'm going to go. Slowly. Don't touch me. Terra. It's no use. You're going to die. I can still get up. Don't bother. Your consciousness is fading. You don't have enough strength to get up again. But this is how it ends. Now I've done this part, so it's it's good. It's good. Oh my god, I'm I'm serious. I I might just just do it like this. It's Ara, by the way. My name. You guys have those, right? When we first met her. Again, flashbacks. We cannot sacrifice the lives of so many. If you truly believe that there's a noble or a proper death, then science no. Then even the human heart has failed. Sarah, you're right. We can't certain to be all true. Besides, it's not me like me to give up, is it? Ari is the only original human left uh, from Earth. Right now, anyway. She must be lonely. That's, that's not true. Might be. She has given up on everything. And she has, uh... And all she really wants is to destroy the world. It's not how she feels at all. Arius is your enemy. No, she's not. In that case... Then start thinking, what does what do you really want to do? Well, I want to say well, I want to save her, I want to talk to her also. I talked to her one last time. I don't think I can actually save her, technically. Does need saving. Kind of. I kinda of want to talk to her though. Period. I'm gonna have 
Very pretty. Well, I'm facing this direction, so let's go this direction. I guess I can put my camera I put my camera on once in a while. So yes, I have done this part before, but it is a very good emotional part for uh, the main character in Arya. It's a little go. Ooh. We're gonna yep. Yeah. Are you here to save Arya? Well, yes, but also I'm not sure. Totally. You're confused too, huh? Well, sort of. Think about it, though. Can you really save her? Well, the best I can. Do you understand the weight she has carrying on her shoulders? I... Eh? Yes. I don't. Of course not. You need to more know more about her past. And here we walk. Jumping. Jump, jump, jump. Very nice, nice, like, it, it's probably a, like a 2D image of some sort, but hey, it's awesome. It still looks awesome. All right, you see, well, she's been fighting from the start, right, uh, right on the front line of humanity. And now from the speech of the head of the project. Blue light into the light. I am Aria Lavendal? La Lavendal. Uh, I think it is. Lavendal. Laf uh, the project leader. The world is fading the greatest turmoil in history, and we scientists are rising to the Unpredict uh, this unpredictable challenge. I think that's what it is. This is war, a, li uh, a life or death war for humanity. Whether we survive to continue our history or, dep uh, or, or not depends on this project. But I believe, that's what I believe. I believe that we'll complete the ch this challenging investigation. I believe that uh, that there is value in continuing the human race. But above all that, I believe in our team. And I am still young, but I may not know the same knowledge or experience as all of you. But my determination does not waver. That is, that is what I mean by that is what it means to be a scientist, to pursue knowledge and to keep up fighting for a better future. Yeah, technically, yeah, yeah. It, it depends on how that science is used by other people who have the funds and all that. But yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the idea of science, yes. Oh, what's Arya? I have to do this. If I look dispirited, then everyone else will want to give up too. So, I'm the, the one person who must never give up. Isn't that right, Arya? Arya. I think it's Arya. I think it's Arya. I'm going to... I think it's... Arya, it was, uh, was humanity's, humanity's hope. She may not be, she may have been, uh, that way since birth. You saw, you saw how, 
how her end, uh, her, 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 era ended, didn't you? Again, words. Complicated sometimes. Ar Aryan was the beacon of light, an idol of humanity, clung into the face of extinction. Aria shed blood, sweat, and tears to live up to their expectations, making her name as a great scholar at a very young age. And that's a lot of, lot of pressure, holy jeez, a lot of pressure. Aria tried the best to be tough and stop making excuses for her weaknesses. And now you want to delay her the way, uh, that way of life? Well, she did have a, she did have a tough, uh, tough uh, childhood. Uh, you're not good at knowing when to give up. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, I've been told throughout the story that's pretty much my my character thing is that I don't give up. A good thing in uh, Meg protagonist. Go on, go on, uh, go on ahead if you think you can convince Arya out of her plans. But your words won't get through to her. She's a stabber mule. Hey. But even though she gives up, uh, you realize that. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, that's new. Like it, it kind of slightly reminds me, like like Im the imagery a little bit. Sometimes reminds me of like something in like the Zeno Zgears or Z uh, Saga series. Not not Zeno Blade, but more of the Zeno. Saga thing. I just wasn't I was, like the imagery. Like this here reminds me of something like out of that. But anyway, anyway, Arya is chained up. What? Do you, what? What? What is this? You're not speaking. Arya is still and silent. Arya, wake up. She has closed her heart. No words will get through to her now. But you have a feeling that you're holding on to Aria's words. This threw me through a loop a little bit. Like I, um, like it took me a little bit to actually, cause I went through this part without looking up and it took me a while to be like, okay, what do I do here? Search. Thing is you have to do an item. And the thing is, I was like, wait a minute. I actually do have to have an item and the only thing I could think about at this point was that we have a book. We have her diary. So we present her diary. You hold up Arya's diary. That's my diary. I'm sorry for taking it. Oh, so you had it. Yeah, you left it on the bed. There it is. This diary is the memory of my battle. The memory of how I wish to save everyone. And how all their hosts rested on me. And that's why I have to take the responsibility for the end of this planet. You don't have to do that, our hip -hop. You don't have to go this way. There's another way, always. I rid myself of the weakness and in, in, uh, indecisive decision. 
That's way too much to take. Yeah, that is way too much to take on by yourself. But I'm not like you. I'm your enemy, can't you see? No. You're not. You're not my enemy. Oh, please don't give me that playing, playing the big person act. It's my duty. There's no way, other way around it. No, it's not your duty. You just placed yourself there. But I have to. If I don't, it will all go to waste. I have no other choice left. I'm not the Ari I knew anymore. She's dead. I am the world's enemy. Well, you're still Ari. That's that's this good one. Even so, I can't abandon you. That's also a good one. But the best one I still like is we live together. We're almost fit. You can even say that even now. Truly are strange. Tell me your true feelings. But the best thing is, what do you want to do, Arya? I'm... Don't. I don't want to start doubting because of such trivial things, I won't make progress anyway. I can't be so weak. So I'm... You know, it's okay to be weak sometimes. It shows... You know, character... Again, Arya, what do you really want to do? I... The truth is, I don't want any of this. It's, it's, what, it's what you have been, that's what it is. Everyone from Earth and all of you on Rigaya. Both are important to me. Then let's find another way where we don't have to sacrifice one of them. So please. Help me. Come back, right? Again. Not exactly the well, most wrote, well written, but I have to say, well, very well put together. I'm actually, like, tearing up right now. I don't know. I'm tearing up a little bit. Like, emotional scenes just get not as spoken word of dialogue, and yet it gets me. Aria is back to normal. Glad you're back. Glad to be back. Hang on, I got. Oh, sorry. I gotta. I gotta compose myself for a moment. That was. Oh. Uh. And the thing is, if you're watching this and you're like, "Oh, why? Why? Why am I blubbering like a baby?" Basically, I don't think. Play the story, and you'll be like, wow, that that scene is powerful. It's very powerful. It is. Thank you, everyone. And sorry for all the trouble I caused you. No, you're too weak. <laughs> you can't keep it up. Yeah, Arya, doesn't see you. You're like the good old confident Arya. Now we're back to normal. Didn't cause any of us trouble. It was both ways. 
whatever. Thank you all. Yes, stop the proto descent. Understood. Deactivating proto sea light descent sequence. We're back to square one now. There's no way around it. As planned, Aria's authority is now can, uh, considered transferred to you, Tara. Guess what are you talking about? The situation waits for no one. Therefore, the survival of the human race will be decided by the notion of a survival of the fittest. The strong survive and the weak die out. It's a principle of natural selection and repeated through in all living beings. I wasn't trying to gain authority. But you already interfered in humans fu uh, humanity's future. You're in too deep to back out now. And yet you do not want to take responsibility for that? Do you intend to leave the decision for someone else? I have to say, these guys, they're called omens. They do remind me of, like, Vulcans a lot. It's like, they're their AI robot type thing robot type things and they definitely remind me because they're very logical oh my god like super logical and by the book type thing you were proven to the authority by being the only one capable of pursuing Arya the only cane not true guys Tara take no notice of him it's easy for you to say you vanished from the collective and deserted our ambition. Regardless, uh, we uh, we get a decision from Terra, either she likes it or not. Come this way. I took liberties of locking the door behind you. There is no turning back. Yes. So yeah. There's no. Uh, that's it. Chapter eight is done. And thus we go into chapter nine, which is the final chapter. Yes, we'll save our current progress, but we'll save it in here. This is my my one that I actually did for the bad endings. So we can save, but we can't go back home at all. So let's talk to everyone here about this. So this is what it comes to. The world's fate is in your hands. I won't blame you whatever decision you make. You're the only one that can do the right thing and take respond, uh, responsibility after all. As Tina, guess is too for uh, guess is a bit too far uh, forceful, but I understand why he's what he's saying. You can't deny that the world relies on upon the survival of the fittest. It happened every day in Regaya. Even in the seemingly peaceful world, there is uh, always seem to be some. Uh, some, uh, some getting sniffed out. If we come to terms with it, with it because it's the law of nature, it's not, it's not something that we're supposed to enforce for ourselves. Dianthus. Or as I said before, resist what is correct. Make the decision for yourself. That's the only way to make it a breakthrough in the situation key that's what i've actually realized that 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 is a very much key i'll do aria last we get national what do you think you'll do tara can't figure out the right thing to do would be i can't imagine siphoning so many lives to order to survive raka <laughs> in the collusion of your actions until now do whatever you want if anyone has a problem with your decision, I'll sock him. Sock him to him. You go, Bronco. Kick those asses. Terry, you look distressed. Please don't push yourself too hard. Well, I got to. Fine. Right, first of all, I thank you for your efforts. You couldn't have gotten Arya back without you. 
wouldn't be nice to have been in a live in the grand finale, but it was real life is not straight that straightforward. Whatever happens, I intend to support you in your decision. I know how painful, well, how hard it is to answer a question that has no right answers. And then finally, Aria. Kara, I'm so sorry that it comes down to this. I mean, no, it's no use in apologizing. All I can do is leave it up to you. Not many people can get up to represent humanity, you know. Go, go in there with pride. All right. This is it. We're going to do the true ending. We have chapter nine. What falls from the heavens. Do you see it? The humans will find this globe beautiful. To us, it's just another astronomical body. Nothing more than an ark for humanity to live on. Now then, it's time for you to make a decision. Which sp species of human would you live in heaven's shell and advance their kind to the future? I'll, re I'll remind you that there is only two options. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. But you're gonna do it anyway. The first option is the Canes. The lost right who rolled and fell alongside planet Earth during the common era. Since the Regaia, uh, Regaia, Regaia program is their creation, you Ables are their children, in a sense. I guess you can say that, yeah. Your other option is the Ables. This is your kind. They are the race involved from Ray Guy and it almost almost biologically identical to the Canes. And you must already know enough about them. Yeah, I've been around the world, so yes, I do. Make it clear one last time. You can only choose one. Should you choose should the Canes survive or the Ables? That's the thing. It's also another thing why it reminds me of like Xenogears. More Xenogears than anything is the whole thing of Abels and Shepherds and all this other stuff. Like the religious type stuff. You make a, you make decision, uh, you make a choice at the console. So which shall I choose for the true ending? So if we choose either, we get both, uh, we get endings make your choice yes what are you doing stop wasting time and decide well i'm not going to i'm going to go out wait right there are you trying to announce your decision uh yes actually i am don't be so absurd. Come back and make your decision. Or a decision. But this decision is absurd. Excuse me. The survival of humanity, humanity rests upon your, uh, your decision, Tara. Why do you refuse to understand that? Because it's... Because there's another way. It has to be another way. You humans must ensure the continuation to make this pressure... Uh, to make by making this precious sacrifice. But is it worth surviving at, at a con? A lot of, uh, you're right, it's like, no. I just want to, I don't know, the... Enough of you useless arguments. Why is it quiet as it's growing even nearer to engulfing the whole world as we speak? I, I guess? If I didn't come here, it would still be only one... Once every month, so... Eh? We have no time to waste. Kara, do the right thing. Now choose. Choose. 
So Lost Gaia is the Canes and humans of Rigai is the Abels. So we do this. Do you agree to regular people of Lost Gaia? No. Carry you must understand your situation by now. Your efforts to resist it is futile. Resistance is futile. That's another thing. It reminds me of the Borg. There is no other way. If you can think of there, please share it. Well, yeah, we should rid the actual bloody place of the actual source of the problem, which is Quietus. So, yes, we should get rid of Quietus. Well, won't you understand that humanity has no future as long as we keep chasing that dream? But we need to get rid of the bloody cause of the problem and not just cover it up with band-aids. Come on. Yeah, I don't think that there was... I didn't think you were this unreasonable. Then you don't know me, sir. That all these Seth Seths are the the omens, what he is right now, uh, is uh, wanted to save you. Don't you understand that? Yes, but you're very not doing it the correct. You're not doing it a way that will solve the problem. You're just temporarily solving the problem. As humans made decision, hand over to the level of powered us. After a long conversation... Uh, consideration and uh, reflections upon your own actions after falling or after failing repeating to avoid conflicts among themselves you uh, you felt that you were not fit enough to charge your own uh, com communication continuation you felt that your only higher intelligence yet can manage your an uh, enigmat race which would rather harm one another than try to see eye to eye well yeah that's the thing that's why I'm kind of like interested is like why would I choose the people that already kind of destroyed the world <laughs> why do I want to choose them that's the thing it's like but the thing is that the, 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 like there's no right answer because the Abels are kind of going the same direction that's the thing so now humanity is willing to hand over the decision to us And we have worked alongside you and your neighbors doing the very best for you. Well, I don't think it's completely like that, but hey. But never mind, I suppose that is, it's not enough for you to approve a massacre. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't want to, I want to save everybody. That's what it is. You know, that's how you feel. What is going on here? Emergency! Emergency! Gatsville spirit has been invaded. This may uh, corrupt the collective consciousness. All Seth, please switch to standalone mode. An invader in our collective. What's going on here, Tara? What have you done? What's going on, Danthus? Wasn't it your doing? Then what is the proto proto descendant sequence have been reactivated? What? It's true, guess The proto sea light is descended operation has been reinstalled. But who would have? Uh, ne uh, Nyathus? Ni uh, Nivalis. Nivalis. Now identifying a source of the order. Nyathus, you hear me? I hear you. You're just in time. The identifying the source of the orders? Yes, but. The orders are coming within the proto sea light. It's reactivating the sequence itself. So it has consciousness? So, okay. What have you got this right, uh, Nivalis? Are you saying the sea light has a will of its own? The sea light has a will of its own? Everyone calm down. We should be able to revert the crisis by shutting down the proto. Right now, Novalis? I'm afraid not. It doesn't seem to be working. The proto proto's heading for the castle. Castle Illusion is. It's dropping in our exact location. 
but that's not the trajectory I plotted in for it. It appears that Sea Light has overwritten it, uh, in its own accord. Listen, all of you. Uh, here's the result of the simulation. Proto Sea Light continues its trajectory and lands on the Castle Illusion. Then the neighboring towns of Lent, uh, Lent, uh, Lent, 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 and uh, Shinoda, Sh Shintoda, has been ruled through the Anima and Ara. Uh, Arjun will be uh, not going harm either. So pretty much all of them are going to be really just going to be like badly done. Okay. So falling down, go boom. Not good. Got it. On the other hand, uh, if the Genesis Corps gets destroyed, then uh, then see, uh, the Sea Light may be forced to shut down. If that happens, then the condition, then uh, the conditions on land. Oh no. So we just gotta go stop the thing, I guess. What if we took direct control? Are you? Sorry, guys. Arya. Oh, there she goes off running again. Don't tell me she's going to go inside the proto. Seems that uh, seems to be the case. She's attempting to manually divert the proto directly from inside. But the proto f uh, falls at any moment if Arya doesn't get out in time, and she'll go down with it. And I'm going. As I'm too invested in Oh man, here we go. Not you too. Oh my god, here I go. I gotta go. Running down. This is what also reminds me of like, you know, thirteen where it has like crystal and technology together type of thing. Please open. Open says me. Yes, it's open. Aria. What the hell are you doing here? I don't know. I'm with you because you're not you're not going down. If you're going down, I'm going down with you. Countdown complete. Commencing. Port of Lakes. The ascendant. Descent. Shoot. Could possibly be a censored word also. Who knows? Ouch, 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 ouch. All right. I guess we're here we are in the... Seriously, what the hell are you thinking following me here? What the hell are you thinking doing things on your own there again, lady? Holy cow. You shouldn't have left me to deal with this. I didn't want to get you left behind. You taking the situation a bit too lightly. Hey, I'm I'm I don't want to see you go down with the ship, basically. I'm here, let's not waste time. The internal data is in the control center this way. Or we don't have much time until we make impact. Alright. Let's continue. Is it just me and Arya? Just me. Hopefully I have enough food and drink, if there's any... <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect from here. Alright. Open door. So this is the control center. So it has a couple. And this is the directory we're on. I see. I should be able to change it. Eh, I know you work something out, Arya. There'll be a race against time, but we still, but we still have some hope. I need your help. If we ignite the emergency boosters and change the protos directly, we need to make a force landing in the Northern Sea. If we can manage that, 
then at least length would be, and then the other villa should be set okay for now. Got it, let's start right away. What, what do you want me to do? I wish we could, unfortunately, it looks like the proto isn't complete and it can't take control of the boosters from here. Uh, is there a way around it? I'll work something out, of course. I expect something like this to happen. Of course, I can't control it from here, then we only hope it is to ignite it by themselves. Here, there's two emergency boosters. Let's set them both off at the same time to change its trajectory. I'll do one and you do the other. Okay. You better come back, Arya. Yours is through that door. Keep it going into the path until the booster. And then you go through the other door. You better make it back, Arya. Mine is through that door. Give it her all. Arya, you better come back. Okay. Open door. Okay. I actually do not know what to expect from here. Here? Here, can you hear me? Fly me if you can. Uh, I hear you. Okay, uh, we have to set it up first. Something too complicated, so you should have no problem keeping it up. First touch the console in and there. Alright, touching console. And follow, uh, do the on-screen instructions and press their corresponding buttons. Okay. I'm just gonna... Okay. It's all good on my side. Now, listen carefully. Once we set the booster off, we won't have much time until impact. So as soon as we're done, we head straight to the escape pods, okay? You're coming to the escape pods too, right? I'll meet you there later. We need to hurry up, okay? No, I want to hear you. You need to promise me you'll be there. Come on. Do when you're ready. And boost. All right. Oh, yeah, the music's going. Forecasting directly, we did it. We changed its directory. Now run, Terra. Get to the escape pods. You better meet me there, Arya. I'm not. Uh, if I need to come get you, I will personally come get you. There we go. Arya, right, you here? Can you hear me? Let's get right in front of you. Please get in quick. No, I'm not getting winner without you. No! Why am I in there by myself? Boarding hatch closed. Commencing ejecting sequence. Come on, Arya, get in quick. Arya? Told you you need to promise me to come. What do you mean you can't come? But there's more than just the diverting the trajectory. Someone has to stay here and dismantle the proto part afterwards. And I'm the only who can do that. Then I need to stay also. Anyway, it's just my fault in the first place. No, you're, you're taking too much responsibility on yourself again. You're being like that. Just, ah. Oh. Live in, in, in uh, this penitentiary nightmare. No, I need to come get you. This is a good guy for now. Thank you for everything. No, this is not goodbye. Injecting. No. Bring me back. I'm not going. Mm. Did I mess up? Ah. Uh. Uh. 
I'm not sure. I didn't read up too much how to do this, if there's certain things that I gotta do. What is this? Can you hear me? Best please respond. I'm responding. Who is this? Please respond, skip to you, please respond. Uh, where's the respond button? Hello? This is the escape pod, Aria, she's... Not terrified, is this Diana? That's how you doing. You know exactly what happened, but I don't understand the escape. I'm coming to collect the pod. You gotta get me back on that thing. Because I'm not going back without, without her. Do I need to street the pod, did she? She's planning to sacrifice herself. Yes, again! Oh my god, she's like... I won't let that happen. I'm not going to let that happen. I thought you would say that as much. Fine, this is where you step in. Oh, what do you got there? What do you got there, pretty boy? What is it? I'll do whatever I can. I'll leave you in charge of steel for a while. Take the wheel! And uh, ship the machine to the rest. Alright, I'll give you the best shot. Coming to the deck? Yeah. Damn straight I am. Let's do it. I'm gonna do... I definitely want to... Uh... Ooh, cutscene. Man, I haven't seen a cutscene in a while. She did it. The proto sea light is starting to break apart. I get close to the proto sea light as we match it. It's uh, because of philosophy. Now fire the flare. Fire it! Firing. Fire the flare. Alright, so what? What? why do I fi fire the flare for? This is what you want, isn't it, Aria? All of my actions led to this point. This is how it all ends. There's... A, there, wow, okay. There's a big hole, in, a hole going on there. I think you might... The rest is up to them. Huh? Is that a signal flare? That's a little scary, actually. Where'd the airship come from? Wait, is that is that Terra? There's more fragments than I participated. I don't know if my energy fields will be able to withstand this. This is crazy. There's too much debris. The other the ship is is it, is it holding up? Ah. What are you doing? The whole ship will explode if you don't get away now. The proto will wait till for you no matter what's left behind here. Don't tell me. It's me you're looking for. Yes, it is. Yes, unbelievable. How could someone be so selfless? Yeah, but I'm coming to get you, Arya. Pot has reached the limit, too. I have no other choice. But to go for it. Cowabunga! There she is. She's going down. Tara, I'm... My want to... I don't know. Over there.
felt like you just heard Arya's voice. Over there. Arya's over there. Got it. Leave it to me. It's going to be an interesting thing. Get. I don't know how she's there. Come on. Reach out. Now never do that again, please. Tara. <laughs> you need to stay alive and fight for us with us. I want to say you should never do that again. I never win uh, anyone quite like you. The pro side life is handed. Pierce that has caused minimal damage to all areas. Well done, Terra and Arya. You saved the planet. Well, for now. We still gotta deal with Quietus. I don't know if that's a thing. Please withdraw from the airspace. Alright. And what falls from the heavens has been completed. My closest to Arya. Just went up by one? My reward. Oh, okay. Oh, I got the bond, bond stone finally from that. Arya's story has been opened. Break time conver uh, conversations will happen on for now. Oh, yeah, it's cool. It finally happened again. It finally did. It stopped for like a while and then. It's now opened up again. Cool. Awesome. Phew. I think we've made out of danger for now. So, now what? Yeah, well, that's that's the question. That's the question. With the subjugation of guests, paradise production complete. There's no one... Uh, there's, there's only one thing left for us to do. You gotta purge Quietus from the planet. Eh, it could be fun. How are we supposed to do that? You're right, we don't have any clue of how, how to go around it, do we? That's true. But we followed uh, Gus's trails to the outer rim of the planet until now. Well, I guess that means the rest is up to us. Although... I do wonder if we're really, uh, if we're really out of ideas. Yeah, we might be missing something. Save us some time to think. Mm, greed. As you can see, all the fatigue, so let's uh, part us away for now, uh, today. Indeed. Let the credits roll. Oh, really? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. is it? Is it not the end? I thought it was the end. Arya's not in my party. Why is she not in my party? She's in my party, but I don't... What? Okay, so this is the epilogue. I thought, okay. Sleep in your bed and completing the day's activities. Uh, let us... I have a lot of farming to do, but I'm, I want to go... It's like 12. <laughs> I just want to rest and see what I can do here. Sleep. I just want to see if there's anything that actually proceeds with this. Okay, epilogue. The story of your world. Terra, you wake? I am now. Going on there, Dianthus. Uh, good morning. Uh, morning. 
I'd received a communique from uh, Navalis. And maybe they'll find a hint that it'll help us bring Quietus to an end. Ooh, what they, what, what, what they find? Let's go for yourselves. Uh, we have yet to confirm it for myself. Come to the cost illusions when you're ready. All right, I think we're gonna probably keep it there. I guess this is. Uh, where's where's my where's my thing? Okay, well, I thought it was the end, but apparently it's not. So this might be another two part thing basically where I thought it was the end but it's really not so I guess we're gonna stop there but anyway it is good and I guess we'll just see what happens from there uh, in I guess the next one which is interesting because this is supposed to be an ending reaction for the ending which I really thought it was the ending again it's like a whole Dragon Quest 11 S issue where I thought it was the end of the game but oh there's but there's more okay well anyway that's pretty much it but anyway I want to hands down say you haven't played this game play this game it is oh so great so awesome very unappreciated right now it is good um that's all I can say right now but other than that I guess I'll do another true ending reaction to the actual ending of the game uh i thought the the epilogue was just extra but i guess not i guess it is actual part of the story so i guess we'll come back to it when i reach the end of that anyway until until then uh take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one take care